Come on, Jacqueline. Clear. Come on, baby. So everyone has seen in movies and TV shows when someone collapses and has a, car a cardiac arrest. Um, someone pulls out a defibrillator and you know, they, still, they say clear, and suddenly the person comes back to comes back alive. It's not always the case, and in fact, it re often requires two or three times to resuscitate the patient. And a lot of times, this, they don't get revived. There's only a 12% survival rate for these patients. Our goal is to create a device that can help improve the survival rate by bypassing the skin, and so we can more effectively deliver current to the heart. So this is our device that we create to add on to the normal AED pads. And when someone is suffering from sudden cardiac arrest, uh, you usually use this AED um, to save the people. And normally we first attach it to the AED and we peel off the AED pad and we attach it to the person. So we press it onto the skin and then we try to defibrillate it. If unfortunately this doesn't work, that means maybe the skin impedance barrier is too high uh, for this patient. And then we can use our prototype. We just simply press down to the skin and the needles will just penetrate through the skin. And then we can just use the AD again to see, to defibrillate the patients. The key is the skin. So um, from the literature, we know that the first first or two millimeter, which is the called epidermis of the skin, um, has really high impedance. And our goal is to use this needle arrays to penetrate this barrier so that the uh, impedance of our chest uh, lowers. I'm a Rice student, first and foremost, but I'm also a member of Rice University Emergency Medical Service. So we have our own EMS service on campus. And um, I've actually had to use one of these devices on a real person before. It was during one of my training uh, ride outs with one of the Houston area fire departments where we got called for cardiac arrest and I had to put on these pads, I had to do compressions, you know, the whole nine yards. And while these machines are very good and they're meant for the general public to use, you can find them pretty much, you know, in all public spaces and they have very easy to use instructions. These are more or less just stopgap measures until you get to the hospital. And while they are good, there are some of the problems that they run into include, you know, you have to use multiple shocks to deliver enough current to the heart to restart it, more or less. And so our project is basically looking to decrease the number of shocks and, you know, basically improve the survival rate of these patients outside of the hospital.